Hey, what's up, the YouTube? Uh, this is a little quick video of uh, me trying to do some drive off. Uh, this is where not ideal conditions, but we got it done. I have a guy behind me. You see my other truck behind me. That guy is strapping, uh, spacing, uh, putting bug nuts, putting fiber tags, all that stuff. Yeah, that's me. I know. I'm, I'm fat, bro. I don't think it's the camera. I was trying to tell myself it was a camera, but it's not. Anyways, um, so right here, I'm spinning out the fire from the back of my truck. It's the arbor bar. You can put it on the arbor bar. You know, I'm just spitting it out as I go. Uh, I don't. It wasn't the ideal conditions. I was off on the road, on the shoulder of the road. Um, so I had to do a lot of, like, jimmy rigging, which I don't like with fiber. But I just thought I'd give it a shot, you know, see if we could do it. And I did, was able to do it. It was kind of frustrating uh, a little bit. But I had to pull the rope. That way I was able to feed the fiber correctly as you can see here i'm pulling the rope and it's coming up that took that was a pain um here that's a false dead end i should have put mule tape on there and mule tape if you're gonna keep pulling off of the reel like driving it off what happens is that the fiber is pu it starts pulling so what happens is that pulls tight and it does not look good mine didn't look that bad because the guy was behind me and he was able to fix it but that was a big mistake. I hate how that looks, but it was presentable. Um, my guy behind me, he fixed it, made it look good. Uh, but see, right there, I get to my pole. I put a strap or tape or whatever. And then, see, I'm putting tape behind my, so my guy can do all the bug nuts and all that stuff because I'm, that's how I'm training him. Right here, I'm reloading. I just basically grabbed one lasher, got another one standing by. The ground had gave it to me. Boom, goes back on the line. I put a made one bug nut. I I placed the the I placed the lashing wire onto the strand and uh, onto the clamp, and then I just rip it out. You know, it should only it should be one truck to be able to drive off. You know, like I didn't have a Christmas tree. I have make videos about that, but basically, I just get to the pole right here again. Should have had uh, uh, meal tape, some sort of something to hold the tension back. Big mistake. Never do that. Always put meal tape or something to hold that thing back. Or just bug it off. You know, that way there's no no meal tape. You got to put meal tape on there. And I'll make a video about that, you know, next time. But uh, this was like the most ideal conditions. I'm doing a lot of like fiber to the home and stuff like that. Listen, man, I don't get these nice like slick fiber. My stuff is all pre-terminated, which there already has splice points in it. They get terminals and all that. So this is like the sweetest thing I could have had a little run. Everything else I've been doing, man, it's been straight putting, you know, like I earn my money. I get paid what I get paid because I do. <sighs> let's just let's just say I need to put up some more videos. But it's uh, this was a nice little run. Uh, all that stuff is 516 to 338 strand up there that I put up. Uh, I think it's at 18 feet. That's what that's what they wanted at whatever um but yeah any questions concerns please feel free reach out to me you already know it's your boy i'm here to help any way i can thank you god bless and i'll see you on the other side